so so basically when you got busted did they try to get you to snitch on your plug and, and turn in who who was supplying all the stuff to you they want like i said they wanted comey young aha uh-huh. okay that's what they really wanted they, they didn't, didn't ask me nothing plug. about my plugs or they never knew because they never got that close to my plugs or outlets or nothing like they wanted comey young uh-huh. they wanted this little corrupted police department i guess it was ran by all blacks or whatever and they wanted them they wanted mm. Gil Hill by him being the inspector of homicide, and he tried to turn one thing to another thing about this case and this and that. So the key was to try to knock Brain Coleman down. He never brought, even with the Kukaran thing, they tried to bring him around with the Kukarans because they expected that my wife had supposedly had the Kukarans hidden away from him. The gold coins got it. that he had got from Africa. Supposedly, well, let's put it like that. Supposedly. Yeah, I don't know nothing about it. <laughs> well, you said your own brother snitched on you? Yeah, my old, he was getting high, so I don't hate him today about it. One of my nephews was telling on me, I don't, they was getting high, so they weak. It's vulnerable when you get them weak like that. They vulnerable, so, I mean, it's anybody. The person that's vulnerable, you can get to them. And they knew it, and they picked their, they picked their people out who's just weak, vulnerable to get to. Well, one of the things that you talked about was you know, when you, the way that white boy Rick kind of got sort of presented in the media and the movies, that right. he was some huge major he drug He wasn't dealer. nothing like that. He wasn't like that. I guess you said that if you were a 10, he was a two. Right, I did say that, I did, yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, they even said that he was like the leader of, uh, was it was it Best Friends or Young Boys Incorporated let's or something get, like that? Let's, let's just get that straight too then, for a leader of anything. Let's... You know, like we go back to this point about being racist. I'm not a racist person. A lot of people around me not racist. For a white guy, a 15 year year old kid, come in the neighborhood of a predominantly black neighborhood, and think you're gonna just honestly think if you was 15 years old, do you think you'd come in a predominant black neighborhood and think you control anything? They wouldn't do nothing but take whatever you got or rob you. You you don't control or run nothing, and they wouldn't let that happen. That's just right. it. That's just the bottom line. What about me, a black guy, coming in your predominantly white neighborhood out there where you probably live at? I'm just going to take over? That ain't going to happen. Yeah, yeah. But the media had a field day with him. The media, had, uh... the media hit. There you go again, right. The media right. hit a field day with it. He wasn't like right. that. He wasn't like that. A lot of, a lot of times, I, I don't want to put it like this here, a lot of times, I think that my young brother protected him a lot. Like, uh, guys around me protected him a lot because they respected me. So they wasn't just going to go out and do anything to this little boy without actually going through me. They respected yeah. that. They re- it's called about the respect. Regardless of whatever you do, you have to respect that person. Respect whoever, him, her, whoever. It has a lot to do, even with the drug game, it's respect. Right. 